All right, hello everyone. This is Day Trader Rockstar, and I have a little educational video for you. And I want to jump right into it while it's uh, clear in my mind. I'm doing some research here for the 10 for a thousand watch list, and I just put out there on the uh, anti internet. I just tweeted about uh, how I think this week coming up is going to be a really nice week in the market. And I said I had the charts to prove that. And again, I've been really focusing and really in. in and f focusing on some really good channels that have been set in, that have been setting up um, over the last two weeks, and then I went back at them. I looked at them how they performed the last two weeks. They performed perfect. They actually bounced off the lower trend line and moved right up. And now they're actually getting these three-day pullbacks. So there's a there's a list of stocks that are getting a nice three-day pullback, and which is a very bullish uh, scenario inside this channel. So I expect these stocks to uh, move up, and these are the stocks I'll probably focus on on the watch list. But all these stocks come from patterns in the market. Now my job is to show you the best way to recognize these, recognize these patterns and also to pass on my passion of trading and show you why I love to do it. I mean, we love to do it for, the free, uh, for, uh, for, for freedom, basically. Freedom to do what we want to do and have the freedom to enjoy our life the way we want to do it. So we do this. Now... There's a couple ways of doing this. You could, um, you know, you could basically learn as you're going by trial and error. And a lot of us beginners, you know, actually, when we began trading years ago, we had to do that. There wasn't anybody out there that actually could relay the message out there. But uh, now you could just basically, there's so much technology and stuff, and there's just so many people out there trading. It's just important to get the word out. Um, and what I try to do is just try to instill those um, important characteristics of a, of a successful trader. Now, um, I just look at a, a chart these days, and I'll see, you know, all of a sudden, I'll see, oh, right, this is a much better level at this this level than it was at this level. Why would you be buying something as it's breaking out? That was my old school of thought, you know, when I was growing up in the 90s or trading in the 90s. And I was like, and I, I guess you could do that at some points. But now, you know, every breakout is met with some selling. It gets real, real complicated. But the object actually is to take the, the best risk-reward trade, less risk, higher reward. And that happens when you get a market pullback. And now you have to have rules. You have to apply your certain rules into the uh, the market, so you're not able, so you're able to pick the price uh, of the stock or the index what you want um, to get in at, not just chasing that that index or stock. And what I do is I watch these patterns. Now, um, just one more analogy. It's just like playing cards. All right, uh, if you go to Vegas and you're playing blackjack. You wait, you know, you could, you could, or poker or whatever. Poker is even a better example. You, you wait for your hand before you start betting big. So this is basically the same thing. You have to wait for your price level to come in. This is just the stock Vulcan materials. Just I said, hey, let me throw a video out there real fast because this brought me up to, and I said, you know what? I, you know, I don't even know, but first thing I want to talk about is channels. All right, I want to speak about two patterns today: channels and the inverted head and shoulder pattern. And you can see a channel starting to develop. You can't, might not be able to see it until you really draw the lines, but you see the, what what their characteristics or what the criteria for a channel is. All right, you have to have two two downward trend lines that are equal distance apart, or else it would be a wedge or something other than that. So two parallel lines, equal distance apart, in a very organized way, and that's my definition of a downward sloping channel. You have upward sloping channels also, but what we're concentrating on is downward sloping channels. And as the downward sloping channel pulls back, the further it pulls back, that has a better chance of breaking to the upside, which you want to take this trade to the upside. So I put my first way, the first thing I do is to uh, acknowledge the two points, the, higher, the, the high here and then the lower high here. And I'll draw, drag that line right through. And you'll see it's retested in what's, what, is, what I call confirmed as a trend line because the last uh, price level comes right up to that level and gets rejected at that level. So then we could actually look at the bottom here. We could draw, draw the lines through the bottom. It's like, wow, all of a sudden this looks like a beautiful channel. Why isn't the, the bar down here? Why isn't this line um, like over here or something like that? It's, there is a method to trade and there's a method to uh, systems and there's a method to patterns that make these patterns show up over and over in the market. And you have to recognize these and trade off of them. You need to be able to step in here and say, all right, we're on a lower trend line. This is not really established yet, this lower trend line. You're, you're, you're guessing that you're going to hold up here. But once it starts to get established, then the trade is set. You have a downward sloping channel. You want to short into the upper line. You want to pick it up. You want to make sure it comes down. 
you know, different things you want to watch. You want to make sure the stochastics are set up properly. So this is just an example of waiting for a trade to come to you. If this trade came back down to that 44 area or somewhere, you know, this came down right under the 44 area to the lower trend line, I'd be all over the stock and I know I'd make money. I'd be 80% sure I'd make money. And because there's thousands and thousands of stocks out there, these patterns show up. They rotate. They continue to show up in the market. They could show up. And I have, I have eight stocks in front of me that I was just going to go over. I said, these, are, these, these patterns are showing up in all the stocks across. All you have to do is recognize them, put an alert in, say, I want to buy this one around $44 if it comes down to that far. The market actually looks pretty strong here. So I do actually do expect this channel to break up to the upside. But for whatever reason it comes down, I'll be ready to take a trade. My trade will be planned. I'll, 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 I'll trade the plan. And most likely, I'll make money on the trade. So it's just like it's just a beautiful feeling when you let the market come to you and you're not tracing it. So all right, so you go, you do your research and stuff. You find your channels, you find your wedges. Very strong patterns in the market. Another very strong pattern is the uh, inverted head and shoulders. And um, I don't even know how much time I have. You know, I don't even have enough time to do two videos with this 10-minute video crap on YouTube. So I'm going to do another video, and I'm going to show you some other. Other uh, stocks that are in these uh, patterns here, um, again, um, Nokia is one, as one also has the inverted head and shoulders pattern. And again, um, the Nokia had a beautiful pattern. Actually, these a lot of the trades I've taken on the site, and you know, I bring to the uh, bring to the room here. You know, or I send out my trade alert saying, "All right, I'm buying Nokia on the lower trend line." You know, we don't know if it's going low or not, but the odds are it's going to bounce up, and it bounced right up against you. And we're holding above the 20-period moving average, which is a whole other lesson right there. So once you start breaking out of a channel and holding that first 20-period moving average, it's a very bullish uh, setup. Stochastics up here are embedded. I definitely expect this, and there's a gap here, so you definitely expect this one trading inside that gap and to move up out of this. And of all the stocks that are set up, a lot of stocks in the market are set up like this. This is Nokia. This is just Nokia. Uh, RIM last week I took a trade on RIM and someone said how did you uh, why did you get in the RIM right here it was like right here I got in the RIM and I said well I could see I've been trading so long uh, that I start to notice the inverted head and shoulders patterns and I want to talk about more about the in, how to how to um, identify those and how to trade those but just seeing a little dip down there and then a back up back up and then a little pullback shows me that you're getting this what's called a slanted inverted sh head and shoulders and you need to go to your 60 minute chart to see that. And again, uh, it's, a, it's a much powerful um, pattern than the regular inverted head and shoulders where you have a, just a, a straight line across the neckline. This is a slanted trend line, a downward sloping trend line with a spike down would make, which makes the head here. And then a, a push back up into con consolidation or right up to the trend line. And then you see that tight consolidation right up there. And usually this is this area is where you want to take your trade because you have a good risk reward. You have a little downside move that's going to bring you, you know, if you did drop, make new lows here, it's only a matter of, uh, you know, a couple points. Uh, but the, the, the reaction here is normally this type of pattern breaks to the upside. And I'm going to show you many patterns like that that just break right up to the upside. Um, this is rim right there. And I took that right off of that pattern right there. I sent out the alert. People, you know, it, it continues to hold up right now. Um, Dell is another one. I just was actually going to be on the watch list this this week because a very similar pattern starting to form on Dell, and this is the inverted head and shoulders pattern with a little gap here. And this is you can see the trend line tagging. Uh, you know, we ta we tagged it here, we tagged it here, we tagged it here, we tagged. It. It's really confirmed this downward trend line, and it's all what it's also confirmed is a left shoulder here, a dip out of the pattern, which makes the head. And a move back up to the trend line and side a little pull back sideways makes the right shoulder. This is definitely going to break higher. Stochastics now are oversold, which is my second big indicator here. And we are ready to rock on Dell to the upside. And this is actually found on the 60-minute chart. So very great pattern here. Pay attention. I'm going to do another video for it. Explain a little bit better. But uh, again, I broadcast these, broadcast these patterns all day live on the... Uh, on the market from uh, 9 o'clock to 4 o'clock every day. So come on by daytradingradio.com and you'll see the, 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 the trades actually called out live on the radio. So hope you enjoyed that video.